Hi YouTube. In this video, I would explain how to use an Ohm's Law pie chart. These are two Ohm's Law pie charts seen here. So the purpose of the Ohm's Law pie chart is to help the electrical student remember the Ohm's Law formulas and when to use each formula. Now there's a total of 12 Ohm's Law formulas. We will go over 60 of those formulas in this video. Okay, so let me tell you a little about Ohm's Law. Ohm's Law states that it takes one volt to push one amp through one ohm. Now, there's two main Ohm's Law formulas, and the other 10 Ohm's Law formulas derived from those two formulas. Those two formulas are seen here. E is equal to I times R. And P is equal to E times I. And let's take a look at what each letter stands for. So, the E, the scientific name for E, would be electromotive force. But in the electrical field, we call it voltage. And it's measured in volts. The I, in the electrical field, or in the uh, scientific name for uh, is intensity, but in the electrical field, it's called current, which is measured in amps. R is for resistance, which is measured in ohms, and P, the scientific term for P is power, but in the electrical field, we call it wattage, and it's measured in watts. So let's take a look at the two main formulas of Ohm's law, which is E is equal to I times R and P is equal to E times I. Um, let's take a look at the first formula, E is equal to I times R. Now, the other two formulas down below derive from this formula. E is equal to I times R and I is equal to E over R and R is equal to E over I. So let's take a look at a uh, actual Ohm's law circle chart. Okay. All right, the way the Ohm's law circle chart works is you're given two knowns. Maybe you're given the I and the R. And the E is your unknown. So what you do in the Ohm's law circle chart is you cover the unknown. In this case, your unknown would be E. So you're given a value for I and you're given a value for R. But you don't know what E is. So you cover E. And when you cover E, what you have is I next to the R, which is I times R, which is this formula here, is E equals I times R. So now, what if you were given a value of E and you were given a value of R and your unknown was I, so you cover the unknown, which you cover the I, and you have E over R, which is this formula here. Or what if you were given a value of E, and you were given a value of I, and your unknown was R, cover your unknown, which is R, and you're given E over I, which is this formula here. So let's take a look at the second uh, formula. Now, P is equal to E times I. The other formulas derived from this top formula, I is equal to P over E, and E is equal to P over I. Now, let's take a look at that actual circle chart. So if I was given a known value of E and a known value of I, and P was my unknown, you would cover the P, which leaves you with E next to the I, or E times I. P is equal to E times I. Or if I was given a known value of E, and you given a known value of P, but your unknown is I, you would cover the I, which will leave you with P over E, this formula here. 
or if you were given a known value of P and you were given a known value of I and E was your unknown, you would cover your unknown, which is the E, and it leaves you with P over I. So that's how you would actually use the Ohm's Law circle chart. Let's go over it one more time real quick. Unknown value may be E. You cover the E. It leaves you with I time R. The unknown value may be I. You cover the I. It leaves you with E over R. The unknown value is, is R. You cover the R. It leaves you with E over I. Let's look at the second Ohm's Law circle chart. If the unknown value is P, you cover the P, it leaves you with E times I. If the unknown value is E, you cover the E, it leaves you with P over I. Or if the unknown value is I, you cover the I and it leaves you with P over E. And this is how you would use and Ohm's Law circle chart to remember the formulas. Thank you very much. I hope that you could benefit from this video.